Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real-world ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got Avery and Mason, they're both swimming laps in the same swimming pool. All right, so it's the same distance, same size. So Avery can swim three laps in two minutes, and Mason can swim four laps in five laps in four minutes. So we're looking for a false statement. Okay, so let's see if we can just kind of put these into... Since uh, it looks like three laps in two minutes... Those look like ratios. All right, so let's just go ahead and put those into fractional form. A little bit easier. Three laps in two minutes. All right, and then we've got Mason. Five laps, more laps, but it's longer, right? So it's going to be kind of hard to compare those two, but we probably will end up doing that. Let's look at F. Avery can swim six laps in four minutes. All right, so we're going to take Avery. Let's see. Can we do six laps? I'm going to do an equal sign here because we've got this rate here of three laps for every two minutes. How does this look? Well, if we just look at it as pure fractions, three halves and six fourths. Yeah, that looks good. You just double it, okay? So that looks true, which means this is the one we don't want, right? We're looking for a statement that is not true. Mason can swim 2.5 laps in two minutes. Hmm, two minutes. Let's see, 2.5 laps. Kind of weird to have a decimal as your numerator, but it happens two minutes. Well, how do we get to 2.5? Well, let's look at the denominator first. Probably a little bit easier. If we divide by 2, 4 divided by 2 makes 2. So if we divide 5 and half, guess what we're going to get? 2 and a half. Yeah. It's weird looking, but it works, which means we don't need it. Avery can swim two laps farther than Mason in eight minutes. Okay, so we need to get both of these denominators into 8 minutes. Um, so let's get them into 8 minutes. So that's going to be a times 4, right? So 8 minutes. So times 4, I'm timesing by the original, that's 12 laps. And this is going to be times 2 by the original, we get up to 8 laps. 8 laps times 2 by the original, we get 10 laps. So in eight minutes, Avery can actually swim farther. Avery can swim two laps farther. That's exactly what it is, 12 and 10. So that is correct, which means that's not the answer we're looking for. We're looking for the one that's not true. So let us hope the answer is J. Mason can swim 0 0.5 lap farther uh, than Avery in two minutes. All right, so we need to get this down to two. Avery is already in two, and we got Mason to two. Okay. So let's just get those down here. Avery, we had three laps to two minutes. And then Mason, we had this right here. We had 2.5 laps in two minutes. And this is Mason can swim 0 0.5 lap farther. No. Actually, Avery can swim farther. Avery's got the three laps. Mason's got 2.5 laps. So Avery's the one that's actually going 0 0.5 laps farther. So that's the switch. If you were to switch these two names around, if you were to say Avery can swim 0 0.5 laps farther than Mason in two minutes, you'd be correct. But this is incorrect, which means our answer is J.